Newman and I are reversing the peepholes on our door so he can see in. Why? To prevent an ambush. Yeah. So now I can peek in to see if anyone is waiting to jack me with a sock full of pennies. <laughs> but then anyone can just look in and see you. Our policy is we're comfortable with our bodies. Yeah, I'm reversing my peephole. Hey, you know, you gotta get permission from me. I'm the super. Who said you could do that? Well, who says I can do any of the things I do in my place? Like what? Well, I... Oh, uh, nothing. Well, I'll, um, I'll switch it back. No, 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 no. That's all right. Well, that, well that's good. Because uh, Newman and I, we think that he... Could... Newman? He did this too? Well, yeah. I deal with him. Hey, Joe Mayo. I need you to be in charge of coats. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Hi, I'm Jerry. How do you like my pants? Nice. It's working. Don't tap on the glass. Goodbye, Dr. Zayas. <laughs> Who is it? It's Newman! <laughs> what? I'm in the middle of something. I can't believe I'm being evicted. What? What are you talking about? The reverse peepholes. Silvio says I'm an agitator and I'm out of the building. No, no, he can't do that. I'm homeless. I'm gonna be out on the street corner dancing for nickels. I'll be with the hobos in the train yard eating out of a bucket. Now, come on, we'll go and talk to him and we'll straighten this whole thing out. Why are we in Jenny's apartment? Well, I, uh, I like to think of this as my conference room. Yeah, it has a more formal atmosphere, you know, with the shelves and the, the furniture. <laughs> Make it quick, Kramer. My wife and I are about to go bowling. I've known Newman all my life in the building, and you're all wrong about it. He's a model tenant. Okay, on your word, he can stay. Well, you won't regret it. <laughs> What's wrong? Hey. Elaine, thanks for coming. Good working with you. All right, let's hit the bricks. What? Hey, I got a coat just like this. <laughs> hey, what is that up that tree? <sighs> Man, that looks like a dead bear. No, that's a fur coat. Hey, uh, give me a boost. Where did you learn to climb trees like that? The Pacific Northwest. <laughs> Newman. I heard that you found a fur coat in a tree, and I believe that it belongs to a friend of mine, and I'd like to give it back to him. Sorry, climbers keepers. Can you do me this one little favor? New me? Oh, how I've waited for this moment. But alas, my heart belongs to another man's wife, and I have given the coat to her. Look at this. Huh? Svetlana says she find it in the laundry room, but I think it is a gift from that postman. No, it's a, that's not even a woman's coat. That's a, that's a man's. What kind of a man would wear fur? Oh, lots of them. Would you? No. <laughs> then who? What about Jerry? <laughs> All you have to do is wear the fur so Silvio thinks it's yours. I'm not wearing the fur. <laughs> well, then Newman and I, we get thrown out of the building. Is that right? Oh, Jerry, you forgot your purse. Oh, thanks. Hey, Sylvia, look at Jerry here, prancing around in his coat with his purse. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's a dandy. He's a real fancy boy. <laughs> Jerry, where'd you get it? That's his coat. No, it's not. It's mine. I'm a fancy boy. Is that your coat? If that is not his coat, whose coat is it? It's Joe Mayo's coat. Who's Joe Mayo? Oh, he must be the man that's sleeping with your wife. So Silvio ambushed Joe Mayo? Yeah, he's waiting inside his apartment for him with a sock full of pennies. <laughs> Should have had a reverse peephole. Yeah.